Hello world and welcome back. It's been a while since the third episode of the amazing card, but life got in the way, but now we're back with a very interesting topic. <laughs> oh no, I'm thinking, we were thinking about lay layoff and now we came after a while, they think that <laughs> someone <laughs> fired us. No, man, still alive. Okay. Okay, again. Sorry. This is the third, the third attempt. The third attempt. <laughs> it will be the good one. Hello world and welcome back. It's been a while, Pepe. Yeah. We're back with a very interesting and quite controversial topic. Yeah. What are we talking about today? We're talking about Compose, one of the most interesting new features. Let's try to treat Compose, uh, analyzing a bit the pros and the cons, trying to be not biased by our experience, because like we have to be objective. Definitely. And try to analyze a bit this new framework uh, that involved the presentation layer mostly. True. According to you, generally speaking, and then we will be more focused on that, mm -hmm. is Compose the future in the Android application? I believe it is. However, it's not 100% ready in my opinion. But it's not so simple. So today, let's aim to do the pros and cons of Compose and try okay. to see if it's the best tool to use in your application. Okay, can I start with a good point? Very good point. For example, the first thing that comes to my mind is that we get rid of XML file in our project with Compose. It's undeniable this is a good positive thing of Compose, but at the same time now you bring the view uh, creation inside your activity or fragment and this has a danger of mm -hmm. leaking responsibilities, ending up with a fragment that has the view and the state totally tangled together yeah. and not being able to be separated like it was before. Because before you had the XML, there's the text view and somebody access the text view from the fragment doing something to the text view. Now the text view and the manipulation of the text uh, state are all possibly in the same place. You yeah. need to be very careful. The other thing that comes to my mind about the very positive things, I think the first one that everybody will tell you is the list, man. The list, how oh, is easy to do the list with Compose. You don't have to use the adapter, all these strange things. Very easy. You have to admit it. I admit it, but at the same time, I don't agree. I'm going to be a little controversial here because if your best argument is that you uh, will not waste one minute, two minutes to write an adapter, if this is your best argument, this is not good enough for me. Let's not forget, the bottleneck is rarely the, the boilerplate in the code. The bottleneck is identifying um, requirements dealing with communication things, understanding the UI, understanding the business, and actually typing in the code is not the bigger part of your work. I agree, it's very convenient not to have to wire up an adapter every time and doing a lazy column is much more pleasurable. Nevertheless, if you want to address also some good points to compose, the multi-platform possibility. This is a very good point, man. Definitely. The possibility of having a multi-export uh, solution is uh, interesting, but once we used to have a very straightforward environment to work on, we used to have the Android Studio using Kotlin, but now we have opened up our scope into the multi-platform realm, and I think we need to be very careful because right now, well, think of it from the perspective of an engineer that's just starting out. He has yeah. multiple tools to pick from. Now he can see that there is Kotlin multi-platform, but now Compose multi-platform as well. But there's also Flutter and other hybrid solutions such as React Native. And it makes it a little bit chaotic to understand what is the purpose for each tool. So on the one hand, it gives you possibilities and it gives you options. But on the other hand, not limiting can sometimes be chaotic. In general, I would say, yes, it's a good point. But now it's my turn to say something positive. Maybe it's uh, ceiling is very high to grow. There is a lot of room to improve. Yeah and because it's still quite new, so I can see the potential for the future, it's there. Yes. Another good thing is that Google is pushing it a lot. This gives us a bit of a confidence that this is actually the future. At the same time, it's a little bit weird having the company pushing so hard on this new UI framework, like it really negates the past 10 years of XML like this, like it was nothing, and even I've seen some tweets from Google employees calling XML tech debt. Like this is a very strong accusation for XML because yeah. it's been a tested framework, it's working, it's working very well. Calling it a tech debt is like going back. It's too much. Too much. So on the one hand it's good, 
On the other hand, I don't like this PR pushing of Compose, like it's the only way to create applications. Yeah. XML is here still, you can still use it. And in some cases, I can say that it's still much better than Compose. By the other way, by the other side, by the other end, on the other hand, the learning curve is very steep. We can say not very steep, but it's steep at least. So if you are used to XML, to move to Compose can be a little bit strange at least because they are very different way. One is imperative, the other is declarative way. Not only a negative thing in this, like it's very difficult to learn, but think about the cost. Yeah. Think about a company having, let's say, five, 10 Android engineers and investing in their training to learn to change to this new framework. Are they getting their investment back? bugs that are not yet documented in the industry. You yeah. most, many things in Stack Overflow are still not being um, uh, understood by developers like, like in XML. Basically, 10 years of testing XML, every possible problem that can be experienced has been experienced by someone. I have this question now. You have a project, you have legacy code in XML. Would you move the new feature to new with Compose? Would you start some slice or some hybrid project in the meantime? Or would you prefer to start a new one from Compose? In Compose? It's a good question. For me, you shouldn't try to refactor anything that's been written in XML, but I would encourage the team to start with a feature that is not too complicated, just to play with Compose. Okay. Use Compose in a feature that if something goes very wrong, we can still quickly wire it up and use XML and do it. And above all, let's not forget that if you have the proper architecture in your code, and this is a big discussion, by the way, maybe enough to discuss it in a future video. But let's not forget that Compose, as you said in the beginning, it's still just a UI framework. Yeah. It's not a completely different thing of building Android applications. If you structure your code well, if you use the proper architecture, it shouldn't be crazy to change Compose to XML because you're just changing the top slice, the UI layer. Yeah. From the other side, uh, there is also a little bit uh, discussion, we can say, with the difference of the state of the UI part and the state if you're using MUI, for example. They are different state, you have to communicate. Someone says that probably is better MUI with Compose, someone else is saying that it's better MUI with Compose. What is your thinking about this? I think that uh, state is one of the toughest things to grasp in Compose. Uh, so I believe that this confusion is going on the negative side. There are a lot of things that are going to be done wrong today. This will be the actual tech debt in the future. Because now that the maturity is still not there, people are still experimenting, people are still trying things that might turn out to be not optimal. We will find this ahead of us in two years, in three years, in the project we're creating today. Yes. But it's one of those things that really show it is the future, but it's still not the present, I think. The present is a gift. That's why it's called present. Very good. We can remove this, but I have to say it. I, I knew you would say this. Yes, yes. Yes, I would expect it. When I <laughs> yes. said the present, I said yes, he's going to say, say it. Say it. So yes, I knew it. But... <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> the but the thread is good. Throw the but again. So, with that said, what do we get out of this video? Yeah, what is the outcome? I think it's what we said at the beginning, that Compose has all the possibility and the potential to become the future, but it's still not there. It's still not ready to be totally replacing XML. There are use cases that you can definitely use it. And I must say, one of my favorite use cases for Compose and when you're implementing filters. Oh, yes, 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 that's true. Filters, let's say in a list like YouTube, because now you're changing the filter and the state automatically changes the selection, yeah. but uh, changes also the, the actual the list, content, yeah. the list. It's a very good framework when you have a lot of state that really is interconnected with different UI components. Mm -hmm. So things like this really make Compose shine. The, another thing that, and then we can close it, we can put the conclusion, that uh, I'm curious is why Google didn't use the experience that he has on Flutter with Compose. Flutter is much more mature than Compose, but it seems that they forgot all what they knew and they did another framework with very different, very unstable, without so many widgets that Flutter has. So they seems that they didn't use their experience. 
Flutter is working in a totally different way, I think because it's a totally different team. And I don't think they use the knowledge of one another. They're totally different teams in Google. We know Google is a huge company, different projects, different roadmap. Uh, Flutter is also working with completely um, Flutter-based components, not using any native uh, yeah. components. So it's a totally different idea, but I guess you're right because we know that Flutter has a very good stage system that has been tried and it's working well. Uh, the team behind Flutter really has put a lot of thought into it from the little experience we have with Flutter, it looks very promising and we definitely need to try in the future. We'll Maybe try. make a video about this as well. Uh, but yes, they don't use the knowledge. I don't know why. Probably totally separate teams. Yeah. With this, we can say goodbye to our video fan. How do you call them? The audience? Whatever <laughs> is called the people that are behind the... Finish you. The viewers? The viewers. The viewers. But with this, we can say goodbye to our viewers. Let's hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to always think twice and be skeptic about new things. Don't follow the hype. Uh, and sometimes what is tried and tested in the past is still good today. We don't have to always deprecate things and move on to the next yeah. thing. Uh, because at the end of the day, we are engineers. We want the best tool for the job and not chasing the shiniest thing. Because this is how you create tech debt and not by using XML. But don't be worried also to touch new things. That's what she said. Yeah, exactly, Pepe. Be all also open for experimentation. Very open. With an important. open mind. Always. Until next time, see you guys. You did it, man. We have it. Is Compose the future in the Android application? It is the future for Android applications. But there is a but. And that but is that it's not 100% ready. <laughs> <laughs> Our favorite director, just, yes, just, just doing some signals behind the camera. So what did you Our, say the last The whole thing? crew there is already <laughs> what, laughing. What did you say the last thing? <laughs> class. What did you say the last thing? I will say it again, I don't remember what I was saying. Okay. okay? Is com man, is Compose the future in the Android application? I would say yes, but there is a but. <laughs> 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 so. Ask me again. And you don't have the, they are not divided. We, you can say this and I can say this, or do we can divide this? Yeah. Okay. So, man, according uh, to let's you. Let's play good cup, bad cop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Listing compose against the listing X. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? <laughs> Why this, this stacked face there? Was it like uh, some vibration? I think it was calling. Calling? Uh, How many minutes we are? 24. What? How many minutes? One, how much? 24. 24. No, man. That's so all we finished. It's a lot. Man, 24, half of it is laughing. No, no, no. It's not half. No, man. Wow. How much are, according to you, 14 at least good? Yes. 14 good for sure, man.